I'm sure a lot of you know about the anglerfish, or at least have heard about them and how they lurk the deep, but I'm sure you haven't heard about how some of them reproduce. Many deep sea anglerfish practice a very unique form of reproduction called sexual parasitism, and it's exactly what it sounds like, because the males physically attach themselves to the females. It starts with the males, which are on average 10 times smaller than the females, biting into the female's flesh. They hang on until their skin tissue eventually fuses with hers, and their circulatory system become one. The males are then completely dependent on the females for all their nutrition, and live and dies in line with the females, essentially acting as a testicle from another mother. Get it? Over time, the male's teeth, eyes and nostrils disappear and it becomes just another part of the female whose job is to create sperm. In some species, the number of male to female is one to one, but in some others, the males can number up to eight.